Hey, it's Peter and I'm in the pedestrian zone of Lima. <laughs> it's already getting dark. It's uh, evening. It's about six o'clock and the weather is quite gray, quite cloudy, but that's completely normal here. Okay, I'll give you a look what I see. As you can see, a lot, a lot of people here. So I'm not the only one. And this uh, rush here is completely normal. Young people, old people, children, and a lot of people who want to sell something. And of course, people who are back. Um, yeah, you want some Snickers, you can buy some Snickers. And right now, there is a, a guy coming up who is singing. Let's check that out. And he lives off the donations from the people, of course, like all artists. So here on the right, we can see a church. And this is uh, apparently 500 years old. Um, uh, I passed here before already, but uh, it was closed. Now it is open. We can have a quick look in there. I will be quiet though. So there's a mess going on right now, so I better get out here. I don't want to disturb all these people. Okay, let's go back outside where it looks completely different. Here is, most people are not in the church, but outside eating ice cream uh, or doing shopping and all these things. Regular things, you know. What's it with you? Uh, do you like walking around in uh, big masses of people? I do sometimes, but very often I'm like just quite exhausted and I need a break. So here's a pharm pharmacy, here's a girl with a sign, and this is to uh, call him Pokemon Tamagotchi. I don't know, I don't know. So, a lot of artists here and uh, people love it I guess, people donate, I didn't so far, I will later, maybe. So let's check out what this store has here, Turrones San Jose, Suavecitos. Hola. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Es como la de acá, que trae tres capas de, de una masa así como, como el queque. Ajá. Que viene rellena de una miel que es elaborada a través de la miel de naranja. Ok. Gracias. Thank you. Tatuaje, tatuaje. Here on the left we have a Starbucks. Tatuaje. So, yeah, Starbucks is everywhere. And we have another artist. Let's check this one out. So I just came too late, I guess. The show is finished, but he's talking, so maybe he's starting again. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay, I've heard enough. Continue. 
I'm very close to Plaza de Armas. And Plaza de Armas, when I'm there, I will talk a little bit more about that. Uh, but so far, I can tell you already, it's uh, in every uh, Latin American city you can find a Plaza de Armas, more or less, or Plaza Mayor, you call them as well. And these are very, very important uh, uh, squares. So, uh, yeah, let's go there and I will continue. It's about two more minutes. In case you're wondering, a lot of people are wearing uh, the Peruvian uh, uh, jersey from this football because now, right now is the World Cup going on. And even here they are, well, what, what does it mean even here? Especially here in Latin America, they are crazy about uh, football. Oh, another one with a nice dress. All right, this behind me, this is uh, Plaza de Armas. I mean, the, the light is red, but people don't care. Me neither. <laughs> this looks like a tourist group. I'll just be part of them now. Okay, I think they, they are talking Japanese. <laughs> I don't understand that. Welcome to Plaza de Armas. I'll give you a, a quick tour around. Right behind me, you see there's some um, re yellow. Oh, perdona, perdona. Okay, this square is closed. I don't know why. But, well, okay. I'll give you the tour uh, from this side here. Here, there's this uh, yellow buildings here. These are municipality buildings and every Plaza de Armas has a, a Plaza Mayor in a Latin American city uh, has a cathedral. This one is uh, right where I'm heading to right now. This one here. And uh, it's not only uh, the cathedral, but also in this case we have the, uh, how do you call it? The presidential palace where the president uh, of uh, Peru is uh, working. Another thing, uh, usually there is also uh, the, the Correos, you call it in Spanish. It's the, the, uh, the post office. Uh, I think it's on the other side there. So every uh, Plaza Mayor needs a cathedral, needs a municipality building like uh, uh, City Hall, and of course, it needs the post offices. And I tried to ask now this policeman, what's going on? Que pasa? Perdona? Por que está cerrado? Que en el Plaza Martín, que hay? Plaza Martín hay una marcha de igualdad de género. Y no se puede marchar aquí entonces. No, o sea, quieren venir aquí y encadenar. Se quieren encadenar. Ok, okay. gracias. Disculpe. So it was very hard for me to understand him. But uh, I think if I understood correctly, he said something like, oh, look at this. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, I think he said, because there's a demonstration on another square, um, this place is closed here. That doesn't make sense, right? But yeah, I understood that. Okay, as we're walking here with this uh, coach on my uh, left, uh, I will uh, conclude this little video about uh, downtown of his the historical downtown of Lima. Other parts of Lima look very, very much different. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, subscribe to this video. If you like this video, uh, rate it, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, hit the, hit the notification bell if you want to see my next video. Subscribing is apparently not enough anymore. Okay, thank you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>